antibiotic resistance. Hi, my name is Michael Bacteria of Tuberculosis. MRSA, not time to play. Oh, now I have to stand on top of this antibiotic sign. You should be celebrating your conquering of it. You're resistant to antibiotics now. How should I know? Bacteria have no brain, not even a nucleus. What does resistant to antibiotics mean anyway? Antibiotics are medicines used to treat bacterial infections without harming humans. They have special substances that affect only particular types of bacteria. Resistance is to be able to withstand something, to endure, or it could be to involve into something that is not affected by a substance. So antibiotics resistance is resistance to antibiotics. How long did it take you to figure that out, Sherlock? Antibiotic types. Narrow-spectrum antibiotics attack either gram-positive or gram-negative bacteria. Wide-spectrum attack both types. Methods of attack. Destroy the proteins of the peptidoglycan membrane. Interrupt protein synthesis. Gram-positive versus gram-negative. I don't have to say anything for this one. Remember, pepitoglycan is our cell wall and essential for our survival. Let's come back here. First, let's find out how antibiotic resistance develops. Let's show them a video inside of a video. You mean a clip? Yeah. Yeah. Our autobiography? Get on with the video. We were not always antibiotic resistant. We were called Microbacterium, Mycobacterium tuberculosis, MTB, and Staphylococcus aureus, DAV. Our MTB is actually XCR MTB. This stands for extensively drug resistant MTB. MRSA stands for methicillin resistance to Philococcus aureus. Methicillin is an antibiotic that binds with proteins in a bacteria. When those proteins are modified, methicillin is ineffective. Eek, a human. He probably has a nanobot or something. We're doomed. First, the human is a picture. Second, nanobots haven't been invented. Third, we can pass our resistant gene to other menacing bacteria. Let me guess, we're here to show them how resistance develops. That's what we've been doing. First, the human gets infected. Then, we multiply. Some of us evolve. The human notices and starts taking antibiotics. The non-resistant bacteria die off, and there's more food for us. We multiply more. We spread a resistant gene to other menacing bacteria. As you can see in the graphic. Then we spread from human to human. Then we kill thousands of humans. And there's not much they can do besides following CDC guidelines, keeping good hygiene, develop new medicines, and contain sick people. Antibiotic resistance is caused by misuse slash overuse of antibiotics, evolutions in strains of bacteria, stopping doses without consulting a doctor. Four steps of prevention are prevent diseases and encourage good hygiene, track resistant diseases, and improve stewardship, plus find new cures. Why are we telling them this? Because it's the right thing to do. What about for our species? We bacteria have been around for around 3.6 billion years, and we are not leaving too soon. 
Resistant genes are spread by vertical gene transfer 1, reproduction, B, horizontal gene transfer 1, conjugation, as shown in the images. <coughs> For horizontal gene transfer, B2 is transduction when a bacteriophage accidentally picks up an antibiotic resistant bacteria's DNA instead of virus DNA. Transformation is when other bacteria pick up a resistant bac gene from bacteria that has lysed or died, such as in this graphic. Four ways bacteria resistant works. Gram negative bacteria have a gram negative bacteria have their peptidoglycan membrane protected by lipid membrane. Some bacteria produce proteins called beta-laxamase, an efflux pump can pump antibiotics out of a cell or the bacteria can modify their proteins. Hey, who turned the lights off? I say I'm too late. Got nothing in my brain.